Hi, this is Tony DiGiulisi, author and illustrator of A Hero for Wanla, narrated by Terry Hatcher. A Hero for Wanla is the second book in the Wanla trilogy. It picks up the very next day after the search for Wanla ended, and it follows our heroine, Eva Nine, and her friend, Rovinder Kit, as they uh, board an airship with a boy named Haley and head to the human city of New Attica. Um, I was very excited about this because after um, the first book, Eva believes she's the only human alive on the alien planet of Orbona. But as we soon find out, there are other humans. So I was really excited to be able to create uh, my version of a futuristic and utopian city. I'm really excited to have Terry Hatcher as the reader for the audiobook for um, both the Search for Wanla, and The Hero for Wanla. I only had really one or two prerequisites that I, that I asked for when Simon Schuster went out to get a uh, reader for the stories. One was I wanted there to be an American voice. I think as I've started to mature as a storyteller, I've started to relish in the fact that the stories I'm creating are very American. And so therefore, as much as I love a British accent, I really wanted an American accent to be reading the stories. My second prerequisite, which was a bit of a, a pie in the sky, would be to have a mom or a dad, a parent, reading the story. And that's because though I created these stories um, for children to read and enjoy on their own, what I really would hope for is that an adult would read them to them or with them, which is something my parents did with me when I was older. And the idea that um, that Terry was a mom, and on top of that, also still reads to her daughter, even though she's a teenager. I thought that was really awesome, and I think it made her the perfect fit. When I'm writing, in particular, I always have um, a voice inside me that is, is kind of the voice of the character. Uh, for instance, Rovinder Kit, uh, the, um, the kind of paternal figure in uh, the heroine Eva Nine's life, I always pictured him as kind of a gruff, yet somewhat sagely voice. I thought of actors like Liam Neeson and even Harrison Ford um, as the voice in my head. And I remember when, um, when Terry was recording the audio, her and the director would call me from the, from the sound studio to ask me, you know, well, what kind of voice do you think you know, this character has or that character has? And Terry was able to kind of take that uh, recommendation and still use her voice. The thing that I love that, that she was able to do so amazingly was the, 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 the two voices of both Mother and Eva. And I thought that was really key, especially with Eva. She was able to make her voice sound younger, a little bit more innocent, a little more naive, which is exactly what I had in mind when I was writing Eva 9.